Hey guys, it's L.R. Rutherford, romance writer and um, author of the Divorce XL series. Please call me Lauren. I'm so glad that you're here today. Um, I'm excited because I finally finished Woman in the Window. I say finally, it took me like two weeks because let's face it, we're shut in. Um, but I finished it for my book club and I wanted to do a review over it because we haven't done a book club chat about it. So today we are talking about Woman in the Window by A.J. Flynn. I really enjoyed this book. I would give it a four out of five stars, well, more of a four of a half out of five stars because um, the beginning did move slow and this is a commitment, y'all. This is like 455 page print novel printed by Harper Collins and it is an amazing novel on its own. It's in the mystery thriller suspense series. So it's pretty cool. Um, the book is about, uh, without trying to give away too many spoilers, it's about a woman, a child psychiatrist named Anna Fox. She is shut in in her home. She has agoraphobia after a tragic accident with her family. Um, it kind of goes almost in epistolary style because she does um, kind of entries day by day, but it's not her journal. So in a weird way, we're hearing her inner thoughts and we're going with her day by day, but it is not like um, the color purple to where it's a diary. It's more like, you know, just every day is kind of mapped out. And we kind of see her go into edges of insanity. Um, what I mean by edges of insanity is we see her have this problem with drinking that she mixes with her medications. And the great thing about the novel and the terrifying thing about the novel is that the whole way through, I was not completely sure what is an illusion and what is reality. And I think that that really threw me for a loop. Um, I thought I had this book figured out like halfway through and I was like done with it and this is so boring and blah 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 and then I stuck with it and oh my gosh there are twists and turns and plots and a little bit of danger that just kind of turn the story around from what I thought it was going to be. Now it wasn't a full what 360 um, because I'm a petty person and you know I read a lot so I kind of had an idea of where it was going, but this was such an enjoyable book. I cannot wait for the movie to come out. If the coronavirus is still going on, I'm going to be so mad because your girl wants to see this movie. Um, 20th Century Fox is coming out with a movie this May, May 15th. That's the tentative release date. I'm saying tentative because the apocalypse is happening and I don't even know if we'll have toilet paper by May 15th. So, fun fact. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it's coming out tentatively May 15th. Um, the trailer, I'm going to link it down below. It looks really good. I'm so excited. I'm a huge fan of the lead actor that they casted in this, which is Amy Adams. She's amazing. And this looks like such a wonderful movie. So I'm really excited about that. Um, this is going to be featured in my March book wrap up. Um, I'm starting to do all I've been doing y'all is reading since this has been, I've been reading and writing and teaching online and making videos. So hopefully you'll like, um, one thing that I will say about this book is that the main character does kind of get stagnant after a while. You do kind of get tired, or I got tired, of the main character just because she has such a problem with drinking and she has such a problem with not noticing how many pills that she's taking. And she's almost at this self-righteous, self-opposed um, part in her life where you kind of just want to slap her into reality and be like, hey, you know, like stop drinking or, you know, take your pills regularly or something like that. But as someone that has dealt with depression on my own, I understand what it's like to want to numb everything out and kind of block everything out. And with her agoraphobia, which means that she stays inside, she's afraid to go out, she's terrified of being out in open spaces in a world that she can't control, that she just stays home and she watches her neighbors and she's convinced that a murder takes place next door and it's just a whole bunch of wonderful things. I, I say wonderful. They're terrible. It was a murder. But, like, she she going crazy. But 
it happens and you see all of these events unfold and you don't know who to trust or where to go in the in the novel but it certainly is something that i would definitely recommend as an adult read i don't think younger audiences would really understand this novel that much or really grasp with it um and by younger audiences i mean for audiences like young adult like new young adult to um teenager i think that they might understand the novel but i don't think it would be for a lot of that demographic worth the 450 page saga just because she's dealing with a lot of more mature issues she's dealing with a lot of um motherhood issues and wife issues there is some sex in the book which i have to put out there for my readers um that are younger so be aware of that if your child is reading it um but the main character shares a love of old movies hitchcock movies um, black and white movies which go throughout and even though I, I do like those types of movies and I have seen some of Hitchcock and you know I have a, a fair share I feel like people that are really going to grasp the book are people who maybe are in a little bit of the older demographic that are more used to seeing more noir films and more films that deal with that kind of old school mystery and suspense. Um, AJ Finn is he's, he's super cute first off um, but AJ Finn is a editor at HarperCollins as well. At least that's what I read online. Hope that's true. Don't know. Sorry if it's not. I don't know. But um, he uh, wrote this book and it said like in his author bio after you read the book that um, he loves those noir films and those Hitchcocky films and you know all of that genre. Um, mysterium kind of feel to it which is awesome you can definitely tell that it plays out in the book and it really goes well with the plot however I just feel like younger audiences won't quite attach as well to Anna as maybe younger audiences and you can kind of tell that in the trailer too um and they even kind of show that in just like the way that they've casted the neighbors and casted um the roles as well so it's not so much a sexy film, but it's very intense and it's very soul shocking and it's it's just a wonderful um, experience and I hope that you enjoy it as much as I did. Um, I definitely, like, the beginning was great. I got stuck in the middle a little bit and then he got me back at the end. Um, I would say towards about 67, 68% into the book, and I'm saying percent because your girl's on her uh, Kindle because, you know, germs and COVID and staying inside and being a shut-in. Um, but uh, yeah, totally love it. One last thing. Um, there is a trigger warning for this if you've been inside for weeks like some of us have and you're, you're really not good with being locked inside and you don't like small places. This is not a book you should be reading at this point in time <laughs> because... I have, you know, I'm like borderline agoraphobic in my own life, um, fun fact, and it was making me want to retreat more into myself, and it was making me really anxious about when she would go outside and when she um, would do other things, and I think with this time in the world, it's kind of like, it's a great book to read if you want to be scared and you want to feel like the same type of emotion she's feeling. It's a wonderful time to connect with Anna Fox, but... Um, who is indeed the woman in the window. Um, but definitely, definitely um, do a self-evaluation of if this is a good time for you to read and this is um, something that you want to put yourself in the mindset of. So I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Um, I have been so grateful and happy that I've been having new subscribers. It has been awesome. Um, this is more of like a hobby for me. So even just having one person that's not my mother watch this video is amazing. <laughs> so I do want to say that whenever I reach 100 subscriptions, I'm going to do a bookshelf reveal because that's one of the things I can do. So why not? Um, but yeah, I am so excited. Be looking out for more videos. Be looking out for more content. And whenever we find out what the book of the month for April is going to be, I will let you know. 
All right. Bye, guys. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Love your mother.